Hello, everybody, and welcome to another chapter in the long legacy of the Big Ten Conference. It's a championship game in the new expanded Big Ten, and there are high stakes here, not just a conference championship, but potentially positioning themselves for one at the national championship with an automatic bid. This is a matchup we've all been waiting for. Two teams ranked in the top five, battling for a precious conference title, but also pointing to something even bigger, the college football playoff. As we'll see the number two team in the country, the Penn State Nittany Lions, taking on the number one team in the land, the Oregon Ducks. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. team out there getting ready and this is it the battle for the conference championship trophy he's going to try for a return from a couple of yards deep in the end zone he'll be tackled at the 18 that's good coverage there so penn state's offense comes on the field first today and here he comes the quarterback all eyes on him he's the guy that just makes everything go well, this guy's Mr. Do-It-All. It's almost odd to say this about a quarterback, but he truly does. He's the echo of the coach and the connector of this offense. When everyone is hooked up to him, this team operates at maximum capacity. And that usually means their opposition is in trouble. Trying to find some room. It's Singleton. I test the middle and gets stuck. That is just not open for business today. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive in this moment. And the Nittany Lions will line up to put it away. Fair catch made at the 35. So Oregon's offense gets their first crack now. Offense operating from the pistol. Hand off to the single back. Only a small game. Now looking at second and nine. Back now goes in motion. Defense will have to adjust. The sure hands. It's Johnson. He's brought down quickly. A short gain gets them a few yards closer to the marker. It's third down. Quarterback in the shotgun. And he's hit right as he throws it. Incomplete. The Ducks will line up to kick it away. And he fields it at the 15. The coverage team makes the stop on this return. And the Penn State offense is back out on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. The gain is four, so it's second and six. Dropping back, it's Aller. But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. Crucial third down play right here. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. Can't hold on. Good defensive play. Brings up a fourth down. Nittany Lions will bring their punt team onto the field. When he comes for his second punt of the game. Bringing it back, it's McClellan. They finally get him down, but that's a solid return. Good work by the return man. Offense, drops that under the field, hoping to start a drive here. First play of the drive, he looks left for a completion. Zero running room, stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Important second down play coming up. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. Pass incomplete under heavy pressure, just got it away. Must convert here on third down to avoid back-to-back -back punts to start this game. 
With some pre-snap movement, back in motion. Defense is coming after him. And the junior able to get home with the sack. You know, a lot of times we get caught up, Chris, in the one-on-one -on -one battles with the receivers and the DBs. Here's a great example of up front, the offensive line and the defensive line. Who wins that battle? This time the defense wins it and they get the sack. The Ducks will line up to punt it away. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. And the fair catch is made, but there's a flag down. So let's sort that out. Personal foul. Personal foul. Nothing to kick the kicker. Defense. Defense. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. The offense gets a second chance of points here after that special team's roughing penalty. Quick throw to the left. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Caught over the middle. It's Stewart. They tackle him. Looks like it's going to be just short of the marker. Inches away. Crucial third down play coming up. Quarterback appears to be changing the play. Now they're running on the toss. The game picks up the first down, tackled at the 37. The Ducks come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. A handoff from the shotgun. The gain is three yards, brings up a second down and seven. Offense lines up. This is the seventh play now in this drive. Takes the handoff. It's Whittington. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. So now it's third and short from the 30. Chance for the defense to make a play here and perhaps force a field goal attempt. Back in motion now. Shotgun formation here on third down. And he dumps it off to the tight end. Tackle made at the 26. Good enough for a first down. And the Ducks are on the move here. Looking to throw it on first down. The pocket breaking down. Throws the ball away, but not before taking a hit. Incomplete. Second down coming up. Dropping back. It's Gabriel. The pass rush closing in. Cannot escape that ferocious pass rush. It's a sack. I like the call here, but you can't run long, developing play-action passes like that if the offensive line is not going to give the quarterback time to throw. The 11th play of this marathon drive, but it's third and long now. And the quarterback dropping back. Oh, that's just a throw away there on third down. And now a fourth down play coming up. So here on fourth down, out comes the field goal team. Kick is good. Gives the offense three points to show for that drive. So we have our first points on the board. That makes it 3-0. on the drive and now the kickoff team will boot it away fields it just outside the goal line and they stop him at the 23 that's solid coverage and the Penn State offense comes back on the field this group is coming off a quick three and out can they put something together in this drive makes the grab it's Fleming any good offense has to have a reliable, quick to intermediate passing game. Even though that wasn't enough for the first down, it's plays like this that help you sustain drives and not get stuck with third down and long. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. So a very makeable third down for the offense with a 29. Looking downfield, it's Aller. He'll take a deep shot here. That one falls incomplete. They tried to press it deep, but now it brings up fourth down. The Nittany Lions will bring their punt team on the field now. With the return, it's McClellan. 
And they finally stop him, but he found a nice lane in that return. Puts the start of the drive in a good position. And that powerful Oregon offense retakes the field. The last drive produced three points thanks to an excellent long-range field goal. And that run produces a decent gain. A gain makes it second and medium. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Grab near the sticks. It's Stewart. Tackle made after a big game. Chris, all week they heard about how fast this guy is. The defense coordinator told them they watched the film. They've seen this guy a lot. But I think the reality of seeing it now in person, I think it surprised them. They've got to make some adjustments to their defense, or this guy and his speed will continue to have a field day. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. From the shotgun, drops back. Oh, and he can't hang on. Wow, would have been a touchdown. Got to shake that off now. It's third down coming up. And third and short to try to pick it up on the ground. The ball is loose. No turnover. Offense recovers the fumble. So after taking a closer look, the officials are going to overturn that previous ruling on the field. And the motion by the back now forces the defense to adjust. The junior able to bring him down quickly. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. Tailback tests the middle of the defense. And they try to run inside, but nowhere to go. Great job of the defense so far. It's third and goal from a long way out. Looking to throw. It's Gabriel. Sails it way high out of the end zone and incomplete. Coach electing to go for a field goal attempt. He was on target with his first try. This is a chip shot from 24 yards. Met kick right down the middle. Can't hit it any better than that. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. So no return here. He takes a knee in the end zone, and they'll begin the drive at the 25. And the Nittany Lions offense retakes the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. And he just threw it away there. Safe move. Had nobody open. Offense facing a third and long from the 28. Got to have your pass protection in order in this play. Grab down the middle. It's Warren. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first half. And the Nittany Lions come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. And the pass is incomplete. He dropped the first down attempt here across the middle. So second down after the incompletion. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. And he's going to be brought down by that ferocious pass rush. Nice sack. Well, the offense tries to go with the plaction to slow this defense down, but they weren't buying it. They applied the pressure and came up with the sack. Offense comes up to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before the quarter expires. So, Kirk, as we break for the quarter, Oregon has the lead here. And at the end of the first quarter, let's check out the stats so far. Plenty of time for some plot twists here as we begin the second quarter. Top spot, the offense has to convert the third and long from the 30 to get this drive going. And it falls incomplete. The Indy Lions will have to kick it away. Back out to punt for the fourth time today. On the return, it's McClellan. And the coverage team ends him in and brings him down. 
and the powerful Ducks offense retakes the field. Last time out, they moved the ball well, but had to settle for a chip shot field goal. He makes the grab. It's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Here's the handoff. Five-yard gain, so it's second and five. Same tailback, another carry. And he's brought down, but not before he gets first down yardage. The running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. Quarterback pre-snap adjustment snap for this defense. Toss play to the outside. And he's pushed out of bounds after a short run. Not enough for a first. Second down after that run on the previous play. Change of pace now looking to throw the football. Caught over the middle. It's Johnson. Tackle, but first down. A new set of downs after that completion. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Running out of time in the pocket. Off target with the throw. Incomplete. And here comes play number six on this drive. And the QB will try again on second and ten. Ball is incomplete. A lot of heat on that throw. Now it's third and short in the 24. One of those line of scrimmage battles that could help decide this game. And he'll just throw it away now. Couldn't make anything happen. And that's now going to bring up the fourth now. Looks like the coach decides to go for three points here. Here comes the field goal team. And it sails right through the middle of the uprights. Solid kick. Kickoff team is out there now. Return starts from inside the five. And the returner brought down by the coverage team there. And the Penn State offense is back out on the field. They came up empty on the last possession, forced to punt it away. And they begin to click now. Quarterback keeps the football. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Went backwards on first down, so it's second and long here from the 10. Jukes to get free. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. The punter has been very busy so far. Can they finally convert here on third down? Back to throw. It's Allen. Throws it to the right. Doesn't hold on. Good hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. The Nittany Lions will bring their punt team onto the field. On the kick now for the fifth time today. And it's fair caught right about the 45-yard line. Okay, so here comes the offense back on the field again. Trying to find room. It's James. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense take. Are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. See what the call is on first and ten. And the quarterback drops back, looking for an open man. And he's brought down. Offense going backwards with the sack. Chris, this one's on the quarterback, in my opinion. He's got to have a better feel and a presence in the pocket to be able to either check it down or get rid of the ball. You just can't take the sack. Pass protection, a serious issue. Another sack makes it second and long. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty. Brings up third down. And he drops back in the gun. He's going for a big play downfield. The catch is made for a huge pickup. The tackle is made, but the game sets the offense up. First and goal from the nine. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. 
Let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. So that huge gain quickly sets up a first and goal just inside the 10. It's a shotgun run call. And he's tackled down at the four-yard line. Defense getting pushed back. Second down and goal upcoming. Quarterback still with the football. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Ducks. Well, there it is, Chris. One of the most dangerous plays in college football, the option. What's even more dangerous, as a defender, you have no clue if he's going to pull it, tuck it, throw it. That time, he took it himself, fooling the defense all the way to the end zone. But they'll try to add the lead now with the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. And the return starts just inside the end zone. Tackled at the 14. Not very good field position start here. And the Penn State offense comes back on the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. It's reeled in. It's Warren. Heads out of bounds after a solid game. More than enough to pick up a first down. And the Nittany Lions will hustle to the line to run the hurry-up offense. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. Looking for a gap, it's Singleton. It's good for a three-yard game, so second and seven. Handoff heading left. He's brought down, but not before crossing midfield of the 42. About time this offense gets going, it's a first and ten. Looking to pass, it's Aller. And that pass falls incomplete. Here's the second down play. Oh, man. For him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes, you just have too much time in your hands. You end up thinking, oh, the sack is made there by the freshman. Well, they're going to go with a play fake here. The only problem is no one on the defense bit at all on the play action. The results were a big sack for this defense. That sack makes it third down. Offense looking to throw the ball. He's running out of time here. And the pass rush has got him again. Back to back sacks. They just felt that one coming. Third down and long. Those defensive linemen are in that sprinter stance. They know the offense is going to have to throw. Great job of using that athletic ability and speed to get after the quarterback to come up with that sack. The Nittany Lions will send the punt team out of the field. Forced to kick it away for the sixth time. And they've got the returner corralled. And the Oregon offense is back out on the field. Remember last time they scored a touchdown. Can they keep clicking here? Or the defense come up with a stop? Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. The pickup is seven yards. Now it's second and three. They'll run it. Hand it off to the running back. And the Ducks pick up enough yardage for a fresh set of downs. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside give. They bring him down at the 44. That's a solid gain. Getting closer to midfield now. The Ducks lining up here on first and ten. Off the play fake. Looking to throw. Caught behind the line. It's Whittington. You get him down quickly. Not much of a gain on that completion. Second down here. Time for one more play before the two-minute warning. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. 
He breaks the two-minute warning here. Let's see if this offense can build on this big lead before halftime. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. And he lofts it toward the sideline. And it's incomplete. They let it fly on third down, but now it brings up fourth. The Ducks just going to have to punt this one away. We're going to kick it away for the second time. And he boots it out of bounds. Not very long. And the Nittany Lions offense retakes the field. Time is running out before halftime to cut into this now two-possession lead. Looking to pass, it's Aller. Catch is made down the middle. They finally get him down. It's a big game. Ball moves to the 47. The Nittany Lions looking to crank up the tempo a bit. First down, looking to throw the ball. Grab down the middle. It's Wallace. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. Completion good for first down yardage for this offense. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Running back has it on the screen now. Defense makes the tackle, but that screen produces a pretty solid game. A timeout is called. Important stage late here in the second quarter. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. This quarterback on fire today. I love to watch this quarterback go out and execute in this kind of situation. He's doing a great job of ignoring the scoreboard and feeling a sense of pressure to have to play with more urgency. Right now, he's executing. We're only in the second quarter. Plenty of time to get back in this game. comes the point after attempt. PAT is good. They still trail, though. The kickoff team on the field now is they get set to send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. And the Oregon offense comes back out on the field. They were forced to punt it last time. Now they're looking to respond and add to this lead. First down, they're going to throw the football. Punt over the middle. It's Holden. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. Second down play coming up for this offense. There's the snap, and he's looking to throw. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag brings up third down. Dropping back, it's Gabriel. Pressure is coming. Junior steps up and makes an impact play. Defense spends their second timeout to try to regroup. And the Ducks will send their punt team onto the field. And here's the return. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. Fresh set it down to the offense, first down. Looking out throwing here to start the drive. Grab down the middle. It's Singleton. They've got it, but that completion good enough for first down yardage. The offense calls a timeout here. That's their third and final of the half. Quick throw over the middle. He pulls it in for a big game. Explosive play, and the offense will set up now inside the 30-yard line. On first and ten, looking to throw. Couldn't find anybody open. He just has to throw it away. So, with only a few seconds left in the half, out comes the field goal unit. This will be a 46-yard attempt. The kick is good. He knocked it right down the middle. And those three points will finish off the first half and take us to halftime. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Thanks, Chris. Two quarters down in the Big Ten Championship. A couple of incredibly worthy teams battling for their rightful place in the history of this great conference. And I get it. 
A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. And with that, let's send it back to Chris and Kirk and the exciting conclusion of the Big Ten Championship. And he stopped at the 20, trying to make something happen. That's good coverage there. And the Ducks' powerful offense is back on the field. Important possession here to begin the third quarter as they try to continue momentum from the first half and build on this lead. And just a short gain this time. They're able to get him down. Second down play coming up. Hand off to the right side. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. They're backed up here trying to make something happen on third and long. To throw, it's Gabriel. And he's going to float this one to the right side. And that's incomplete. They weren't afraid to let it fly, but it brings up a fourth down. The Ducks will line up to punt it away. He's on to kick it away, helping his team with field position. And this will be fair caught at the 35-yard line. First down here for this offense. He hands it to the back. And he's tackled right at the 40-yard line. Getting set. Here's second down. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. And it's incomplete. The defensive pressure affected his throw that time. Now from the 40, the offense faces a third and long to keep this drive going. Now they'll run a draw play. Fighting for yardage, but the defense stops him just short of that first down marker. The Mimitney Lions will have to kick this away. The coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. And that powerful Oregon offense retakes the field. They're looking to build on the lead. They had to punt the football in their last possession. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Second down after that run on the previous play. And someone moved this a bit too early. And it cost him five yards. Ball start. Ball start. Ball start. Ball start. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. Caught over the middle, it's Kerber. They bring him down quickly, a short pitching catch to get a little bit closer to the marker. Not gonna be easy here, backed up a long way to go for a first down. This one's gonna fall incomplete, brings up fourth down. The Ducks will line up to boot it away. Already punted five times now today. And that sets up a return. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? They start the drive with a quick throw to the right. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Offense getting set. It's second down. Gonna run it. It's Singleton. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Makes the throw across the middle of the field. Pass is incomplete. The defense affecting the quarterback with pressure there. Mitty Lions bring their punt team onto the field. And the return man decides to signal fair catch. And the powerful Ducks offense retakes the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. Bringing pressure. Just throws it away, but takes a big hit in the process. Second down at the incompletion. And here's the handoff. And the run moves the ball up to the 33. Two back set, quarterback flanked by the backs. And they pick up the first on the ground. Fights off a defender. They get him down, but the junior with an excellent run there. The Ducks have first and ten here. Ball 
Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. Finding enough space for a solid game before they stop him. Now it's second down here. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. And the Ducks churn out another first down. How aggressive do you get on first and ten? Oh, the quick throw falls incomplete. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. Looking downfield, it's Gabriel. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw that time. And now third down coming up. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Motion by the back will make the defense adjust. Looking for the wide out. Oh, and it's dropped by a normally very reliable receiver. That's going to bring up fourth down. The Ducks will line up to punt it away. Forced to kick it away for the sixth time. And that's a great punt. Goes out of bounds down near the goal line. They'll spot it there. And the Penn State offense is back out on the field. They'll run it from the gun. That'll be a safety. Hey, the defense deserves a lot of credit for forcing this safety, obviously. But let's not forget about the punter and the special teams who put this offense in a tough position in the first place. Without that key punt, they would have had a lot more room to work with. Kickoff team out there to boot it away after giving up the safety. Running it back, it's McClellan. And he's brought down after a decent return out of the 31. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? The shotgun handoff here. Red gain is good enough for a first down. Ball spotted at the 42. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. And then first down right back to the running game. He's brought down out at the 46. The game makes it second and medium. Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. And he's brought down after a short game. Does not make the first down yardage. Offense facing third and short approaching midfield. Can they convert here or will they face a tough fourth down decision? Rick throw misses his mark there incomplete. The Ducks will line up to kick it away. And he gets it away, a directional kick with pretty good distance. And the point goes out of bounds. That's a great job. They'll spot it down around the five-yard line. And the Penn State offense comes back on the field. And now the handoff. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Second down after that run on the previous play. They'll give it to the back. They get him down, but he gets the ball across the 10-yard line. Interesting play call here. Third and short inside their own 20. They want to get this drive going, or a punt could give the opponents excellent field position. Can't connect over the middle. It's incomplete. The Nittany Lions will bring their punt team onto the field. And the returner decides to signal fair catch. So here comes the first play of the drive. They'll begin at the 42. Opening play of the drive, quick throw to the left. Defense reacts quickly, a very short gain on the play. Second down after that previous play. Using the ground game here, tailback has the handoff. Good enough for first down yardage. The running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. Running game is working. They'll stick with it on first down. Well, I know this defense works very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half. And he's already at it again. And they'll stop him after a short game. Okay, it's third down after that run. Can he make it to the marker? He's tackled inside the 35 and picks up a first down. The Ducks pick up enough yards to move the sticks. They'll run it here. 
And the runner brought down after just a short game. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. Important second down play coming up. They call the counter play here. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. So the offense faces third and short from the plus 26. Might be four down territory, but let's see what the call is here. They'll try to run for the first down. You make the tackle, but he gains enough to make the first down in what should be the last play of the third quarter. So Kirk, as we break for the quarter, Oregon has the lead here. We've reached the end of three. Time is running out to cut into the lead. Let's take a look at the game sets before we move on. We're set now for the fourth quarter. Who is going to make the crucial plays to take home this W? There's the handoff. Run it up the middle, but stuffed for no game. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Handoff here from the shotgun. Nowhere to run. No corralling for no game. And they convert here on third down in the red zone. This is a four-point type of play. Touchdown or field goal. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Down goes the quarterback. It's a sack. Chris, that's on the offensive line right there. They definitely have to be feeling responsible because it's almost like you didn't protect your little brother back there. So on fourth down, here comes a crucial field goal attempt. And it's good right down the middle. And they add to their lead. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. He'll return it from inside the five. Return it one down. Sets up the next drive. And the Nittany Lions offense retakes the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time. Looking to put together a positive drive here. They'll bring him down just short of the 20. Second down after that run on the previous play. On the defense appeared to jump before the snap and the flag comes out. This was on defense. 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 Offense accepts the penalty, moves them a little farther from their own end zone. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Back to throw. It's Allen. The short completion of the tight end. It's a nice completion there, Chris. And this possession at this point in the game is critical for them. They've got to focus on putting points on the board right now to make this a one possession. Nowhere to go here, and the ball is knocked loose. Defense jumps on the ball. It's a turnover. How about this defense flying in there trying to get their hat on the ball? They do, and they're able to pounce on it for a big turnover. And the Oregon offense is back out on the field. Settled for three last time. No doubt they're looking for the end zone in this possession. First play of the drive, they'll come out throwing. No connection there. The pass is incomplete. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. And a decent gain there before the defense brings him down. An important third down conversion coming here in the red zone. And he'll drop back here on third down. Down he goes, a sack. If I'm on this offensive line, man, I would not want to look at the game film after their performance today. It's almost like they've been moonwalking backwards the entire game, getting pushed all around by this defensive front. Chris, they've already given up six sacks alone in this game. 
So on fourth down now, out comes the field goal unit. It'll be a 33-yard attempt here. Long enough and good. And that will extend their lead even further. on the drive and now the kickoff team will boot it away and he'll lead the kickoff right there to start from the 25 and the Penn State offense is back out on the field they are really in a hole here and that turnover in the last possession did not help they bring him down but the drive has now reached the 35 and that run is good for first down yardage a new set of downs for this offense same tail back another carry that's a nice tackle there by the senior. Here's the second down play. When the flag is out before the snap, the defense may have been a little bit over eager that time. Defense. 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 Penalty gives the offensive coordinator a little bit more room to work with now. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? There's some pre-snap movement in the backfield. Grab behind the line. It's Singleton. They bring him down, but not before he gains first down yardage. And the Nittany Lions come to the line to set a fresh set of downs. On right, first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. To throw, it's Aller. This time it's complete. And the game just good enough for a first down. A new set of downs after that completion. The shotgun running play call. He shreds the tackle. And they finally stop him, but a decent game that time. The game makes it second and medium. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Let's it fly out of the wide out. And he pulls in the catch. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. Testing the right side here. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. Mendy Lyons looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. It's a quarterback keeper. Tackle, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Here we go, first and goal. A touchdown here gets him right back into this game. From the gun, he looks for an open man. Grab behind the line, it's Smith. Brought down, but the completion moves the ball down to the four. Second down and goal. He'll hand it off. Couldn't quite get there, brought down at the two. They break the huddle on third and goal. Field goal doesn't do much good here. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up to throw. And he decides to just throw it away. That's going to bring up fourth down now. Down late, they'll keep the offense on the field, trying to chip away at this lead. On the ground, trying to power toward the goal line. Fights his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Penn State. This will be fun. Strange things happen when the conference championship trophy is on the line. One possession game, fourth quarter, who's going to step up? So here's the deal. Your defense just gave up a touchdown. Now all of a sudden, we got a game. What will your offense do to be able to secure a victory? You want to win a championship? Go out and earn it. See if they can convert the point after. PAT up and good. They trail by a touchdown, 24-17. Pickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. Fielded in the end zone. It's low. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. And the Oregon offense comes back out on the field. This game just got tighter. The temptation might be to sit on this lead, but we'll see how aggressive they get. No 
the middle. Second down play coming up for this offense. They'll change the pre-snap look now. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, it's been tough so far to get this drive going. Now they face third and 10 from inside their own 20. What's the call going to be? They'll take a deep shot. And it's intercepted, a crushing play. Not much on the return, but that's an important takeaway. Sets up the offense at the 34. Boy, this defense did exactly what they needed to do. Come up with a turnover here in the second half to get themselves back in the game. They get the interception. Now, can their offense come up with a way to cut into this lead? Penn State offense comes back on the field. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Short connection to the tight end here. The big man finally brought down by the cornerback. That was a tough assignment. Second down play coming up. To throw, it's Aller. Let's it go quickly. The defender gets a hand in there to break the pass up. So let's see what the play caller likes here on third and short from the plus 27. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. It's an out route. The catch made. Ball carrier heads out of bounds, but the pickup is good enough to move the chains. First down. Looking to throw yet again. Fires it to the wideout. Pass caught. Can he get in? And they stop him just short of the end zone. The offense set up with a first and goal now. Off the play fake. Look at... And he just throws the ball away there. Nobody open. Excellent coverage. Second down. He time for perhaps just one more play before the two-minute warning. He'll try to muscle toward the end zone on the ground. He powers into the end zone. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. set up with PAT. And that PAT gives us a tie ball game here in the final quarter. Getting set to kick the ball off now. And here's the return from inside the five. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Ducks' powerful offense is back on the field. This offense trying to bounce back the last possession and then in a pick. Looking for his big tight end. It is complete. What a grab by the receiver right near the sideline. One play moves the ball to the 41. It'll be first down. To the air, it's Gabriel. Makes a quick grab. Run down after a seven-yard game, so it's second and three. They get to the line here in the no huddle. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. Caught near the sticks. It's Johnson. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. And the Ducks come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. And looking to throw now on first down. Defense is coming after him. Can't get it away. The defense has got him. What a huge stop at the stage of the game. And a timeout is called late in this tie game. Crucial choices coming up. The pocket breaking down. Cannot get the throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this stage of the game. And third and long here. Drops back. Pulls it in. It's Stewart. And now the defense will call a timeout here. There's something they didn't like about that look. And they'll make an adjustment for this important play. The Ducks will line up to punt it away. And no chance for a return as the punch sails out of bounds. The crowd now trying to make a difference here in the final possession. And there's the handoff. Stop right there at the line. No game. They'll crank up the tempo here on second down. The time is running out. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. 
The deep shot is caught for a big game. Breaks clear over the middle. Can they catch him? Touchdown, Penn State. They have jumped in front in the final minute. Chris, I thought we might be headed to overtime here, but this offense would not be denied. Outstanding execution, and they take the lead. Now it's all about can their defense hold on to see if they can get this win. Extra point. PAT is up and good. They lead by a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. So after the late score, they'll kick it off and hope the defense can hold up to preserve this lead. Bringing it out. It's low. Tackle at the 13. Not great field position to start the drive. And that powerful Oregon offense retakes the field. Here we go, crucial situation. They've got time to run a few plays. The defense can't just back off here and play two passes. The offense will spend the time out here with 20 seconds on the clock. They need to score quickly here, try to dial up some big plays. Looking to throw it on first down. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw a good pass rush there on first down. They'll get set, needing to score quickly now, looking for some big plays right here. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. Takes it all the way to the house. Touchdown, Oregon. Chris, just a great job by this offense. Now, I think it's a little bit too late here. They're not going to be able to have a chance to come back. But I think it says a lot about the character of this football team that they're fighting to the very end. Now a PAT can level the score heading into halftime. And they stop the clock with a timeout, nine seconds remaining. The PAT is up and good, and we are all tied here in the final quarter. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. The turn begins inside the 10. And he's brought down after a solid effort on that return. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Dropping back. It's Allen. And he lofts it toward the left sideline. Pass ball is incomplete on the deep shot, but there is a penalty marker down. Let's check it out. Defense. Defender flag for being a little too aggressive. Offense gets 15 and a fresh set of downs. Here comes a first down pass attempt. And he lofts it deep over the middle. And it's incomplete as time runs out of regulation. We are headed to overtime. So tied up after regulation, we go to overtime. Remember, in college football, it's dueling possessions. And the second overtime, if we get there, you have to go for two points if you score a touchdown. And the third overtime, Kirk, just becomes a series of two-point tries. And I know that's your favorite, to see if we can get to that third series of these overtimes. I love extra football, so I'm looking forward to this. Let's see who's going to win it. First down and 10. From the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. Pulls it in. It's Singleton. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. That completion makes it second and medium. Makes the handoff, looking to throw. Fires it to the wideout. Oh, and he dropped it over the middle in some traffic there. Now brings up third down. See if the offense can move the chains off that incompletion. Oh, close to a pick. Instead, falls incomplete and brings up a fourth down play now. So on fourth down, it's an all-important field.
field goal attempt. Hold your breath here. It's up and good. He's got the field goal to put him up three here in overtime. So they line out now knowing a touchdown wins the football game. You need a field goal at least to force another overtime. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. The gain is three. Now it's second down and seven. Back to pass. It's Gabriel. The quarterback finds a target on the right. It's complete. Tackled quickly after the catch. He'll be short of the marker. So here we go. A critical third down play. This offense eager to keep the drive going and not settle for three here. The Ducks are moving quickly down the field. First and ten play coming up. Single back takes the handoff. Picks up three yards, so second and seven. Offense showing a bunch formation now. Looking to pass here on second down. And the quarterback finds the tight end for the completion. And he's in there. Touchdown to win this game in overtime. Wow. No surprise there, Kirk. It's a red zone touchdown to the big tight end. Well, the tight ends are usually much more involved down in the red zone because of their size and their skill set allows them to be more effective down in this area. Now, they may not hurt you on the big, long throw, but they can use their bodies to provide the quarterback a nice target when the defense is so condensed. 